Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Once again, this is Raju Upadhyay from Simaj College, Patna, Department of IT. You remember in the last video, we talked about the various date functions. Today, we are going to talk about the extension of that date function called date diff. So we will understand using the date diff, how we can find out the difference between the two different given dates. So let's start with this uh, certain example. Let's say I have a one screen out here. In this particular worksheet, we are having date of birth for a given candidate. So assuming that the one candidate is having a, their date of birth as 23rd March, 2002. Now we wanted to find out how old how old he is. So how he can find out that uh, their total completed number of years, total completed number of months, or total completed number of days of his life. So that only we are having a date diff function. So what I can do is, he wanted to know how old he is in term of year. So how many years he has completed uh, so far. So what we can do is we can go for a function date diff. So we'll write equal to function is date diff. And within this, we have to pass, uh, first of all, we have to pass his date of birth. So date, his date of birth is mentioned in a cell address A4. So I mentioned A4, comma. Obviously, the, his year number has to be subtracted or uh, minus with today's date. So today's date is mentioned in the cell address B4. And we have got the today's date by writing a function called today's function. So I have selected this and then I have to find out the difference between these two given dates in term of years. So as a third parameter, I'll be writing here the format. So format, obviously, we wanted to get the difference. So I'll be writing here y. So B, remember, this date diff function has three parameters. The first is the given date of birth of a candidate. The second parameter is the today's date from which that date, uh, date of birth need to be subtracted or in term of year. So the moment I hit the enter key, I'll be getting 20. That means this fellow is 20 years old. Now I wanted to find how, how many months he has passed in his life. So again, we'll have the same kind of function, date diff. And here I'll take his date of birth as a first parameter, then second as a second parameter today's date. And I wanted to find how many months he has passed so far in his life. So here I will write M. And if I hit the enter key, we are getting 244 days, uh, 244 months. That means he is 244 months old. Now I wanted to find how many do days he is old. So for that, again, same function, we'll be writing date if and his date of birth, comma, this is today's date, comma, and I wanted to find the number of days. So we can say he is 7,451 days old. So this is the uh, basic formula for finding number of year, uh, the uh, year number in term of age, the total number of months and total number of days. But it is not looking very realistic. We wanted to know his date of birth like uh, 20 years, certain months, and certain number of days. So how we can find that? For that, we are going to find out the year. The finding a year is the same way, the way we have got the difference between the date of birth year and today's date year. So the formula is going to be same, remain same. Date diff, A comma, A4 comma, B4 comma, Y. But we have to be very careful about the total number of months. That means he has completed, as per this format, he has completed 20 years, 4 months, and 24 days. So how do I find, after 20 years, how many months he has completed? For that, we are having a formula, like uh, equal to 
it if there is a date of birth comma today's date comma now we wanted to find out how many months after the number of years he has completed so what we can say we can say y the completed number of years and then i'll say m i have to find out the month so we'll be writing y m and then if if, the, if we hit the enter key we are finding the four months that means we can say he is 20 years four months old now we have to find out the days so how we can do that for that also i'm going to write a formula equal to date if then is birth date of birth comma today's date comma now i have to find out the number of days after completed number of years and months so for that we have to write the month m for month and d for day md and then we can hit the enter key so now we can say this fellow is 20 years old 20 years 4 months and 24 days old so this is going to be the realistic uh, his date of birth now we have to write it down in this fashion that means along with the data we wanted to concatenate certain text as well so how we can do that so we have to write a complete formula for this along with this text also so how we can write this in this so this we have to write the complete formula out here so let's see the formula so i'll write equal to first of all i have to find out the years difference so i'll write date diff and then i have to write it down is uh, date of birth this is the date of birth then comma then today's date is the today's date and then we have to say d uh, number of years so for that y so this is going to give me a 20 only but i wanted to concatenate this 20 along with some text like years so what i can do is if you wanted to concatenate with this particular result so we have to write it down ampersand and then within double quotes i'll be putting a one space and then i'll write here years and then double uh, comma double quotes close and then the concatenation will happen again for the rest of the formula so again after this i have to find i have to write it down the months in order to get the month i'll be having a, a function like uh, date if and then again i have to find out i have to write it down a4 that is uh, his date of birth comma current days that is called b4 comma we have to get his uh, difference in term of uh, months so we'll write ym year completed and then the rest of the month and then after that again we have to concatenate what we have to concatenate we have to concatenate for months so again here i'll be writing a space months then I'll write comma, I'll do the double quotes, and then we have to mention again ampersand. Now to show the number of days that is called 24. For that, what formula we have? We have a formula called uh, date diff. And then again, I have to write down his date of birth, which is available on A4, comma. Then date of current date of uh, date is available on B4, comma then we have to write it down the difference of month after the completed year and month so i'll write md and after that again i have to do the concatenation and after that we have to write the double quotes space days and i have to close it and then i have to hit the entry now you can see the output is coming like 20 years four months and 24 days so if you if you want you can customize your output like this clear 
so i hope you must have understood this various flavor of date diff function which is a part of advanced excel so so friends this is all for the day from date diff so tomorrow again we will meet you for with another interesting topic of excel till then keep revising keep uh, studying and keep computing so see you tomorrow on the same channel with uh, again a latest interesting topic of advanced excel thank you very much for watching this video